Well, hello everyone, Billing here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and today's of which is on Raka and Black Phantom of Breakout Wave 1 from 2012, of course. So, let's look at the bag and box individually. So, for Raka's of which, you see the Hero Factory logos there, and picture of him soaring on down through the Hero Factory assembly tower course. And as you see, you have the uh, name of him over some caution tape, and it has 300 game points for the online game, choking hazard, and age recommendation 714 instead of 16, and set number 622, 55 pieces. Back part of which you see another picture of him showing his features, and also how to use the code for the online game, hazard, choking hazards, and everything. Yeah. And on to Black Phantom's box of which we see oh it's same size and thickness as like Fire Lord Fire Lords and all. Oh, but yeah. And you see a picture of him in large fierce pose around the Hero Factory assembly tower and all the logos, of course, and so down below is his, his name over some caution tape, and also 500 points for the online game, and age recommendation 9 through 16, set number 6203, has 125 p four pieces. Oh, and on to the back of the box, see. Uh, with him in another position, all his features, of course, and how to use points for the online game, and also all the sets of Breakout Wave 1, including Breeze and Thorn Racks, which were, of course, delayed to Summer Wave, obviously. Okay. But at least that's alright. But yeah. Now on to the manuals, which same pictures as on from the bag and box and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. But also 300 points for the online game. But also one more page in the back of which. Out of LEGO Club, the two sets together. And also the combination model that they make. And the pieces that come with the set last building step for Raka. Black Phantoms of which same thing. Okay. And out of the DC buildable figure sets, which I will also review for a th future throwback Thursday. First of which is Raka, oh, it's quite the improvement over Raka 3.0, but also downgrade of Raka XL from the year prior. As for the feet of which, which is kind of the same uh, feet foot pieces that Raka 3.0 also had, and also gunmetal gray. Uh, extra large armor pieces and five long armor pieces also still in gold from the past last versions also and of course holding the handcuffs that all the other hero sets also had and, of which, and let's see as for his chest plate of which of which same armor piece as all the hero sets of this year but in gold and also a few uh, like claw markings on the sides probably to represent the lion bit of him from the year prior and also same hero core as all the sets have but but with the coat on the back of it then yeah uh, kind of dull why they why they're all the same colors although would have been great if they were in all different colors so to that then yeah but as for this arm of which 
has the same spherical piece that some of the other hero sets also had, also in Gaumella Gray, like Evo did, and also do get the like new energy hexagon shield piece, just like what uh, Brees also had, but in now in green. Very cool, and also hand piece in silver, which. As for the other arm of which, quite fully well combat built, obviously. And also with three long armor piece, but shorter, also short limb piece rather than a fully extended kind of which. Really don't get why that is, but although you can kind of modify it with a longer kind if you want, and also do get the like newer launcher pieces, but this time around in both clear translucent green and gold of which quite cool for that and sphere piece in silver of which and also so for the back parts of which same exact blade pieces that the last year's fire villain sets and Inferno 3.0 also had and also does have this chain gun thing to it but of course with regular solid uh, castle spear pieces, of course. And if you look on the back, you see a, a silver foot piece acting as back armor, which, and if you wonder why I have these gold studs here for that, I just kind of did just for fun anyways. But at least he which doesn't come with that in general, but yeah. And as for his Helmet and head, which same piece that a uh, split face and also black phantom coming up will also have. And yeah, but also this helmet piece, which, which, which some say kind of similar to that, like C three PO in Star Wars, but whatever. And of course, has this one scope eye, reminiscent of Kopaka and Nuju in Bonacle. Of course, a few pivots on the sides of it. An interesting texture on its top and but also this helmet piece in which was kind of changed a little bit for both versions in Raka break brain attack but without the scope eye but yeah but also quite neat how he got changed in just over one season of course from like the shorter range of heroes to this larger range of heroes but yeah and that is it Russia. And now to the main villain of Breakout, obviously, Black Phantom. Oh, it's quite tall and also cool as well. So, like, his color scheme is mainly uh, black and also a bit of darkish red, of course. And a couple accents of green, obviously, and yeah. And whereas for the legs of which, pretty much the same build as, like, uh, Fire Lord and. Uh, Rocket XL's builds were, but just with the limb pieces in dark red, of course, and also those longer pieces in black, and those pieces also in black as well. And also for the upper area, which also extra long torso bit, like the others, and also same chest plate as most of the hero sets all had, and also this newer chest plate piece to add some more bulk to him but of course this chest plate piece also used on the uh, ultra build sets of of this year as well and, and then carried on into the chima ultra build sets and then for first wave of bonkle generation 2 toa sets as well but but they all had printings on them but this one doesn't also did make its way into some system sets as well but yeah Although, one odd thing that there is, it's kind of barren right there. I think a couple of pieces, a piece also should have been added on to that to help block that out, obviously. And as for the arms of which, as it does have the new friction joints of which, which was made mostly for the ultra built figure sets, but he which is an exception for that. Oh, also to mention that Raka's uh, chain mail thing, also on the Iron Man set, figure set from this year, but yeah. 
and also whereas these friction joints which which if you can kind of notice there is supposed to be some bit of rubber to them to make them more sturdy and whatnot so unlike years prior where they had the the like pistons in the backs of which but I guess these are now introduced to add some more to that so the parts which I think which took quite a lot for them to get through there but as for the upper arms which had those extra long armor pieces in black and new spherical piece in black of which <coughs> which we also had on toxic reap uh, obviously and as for his lower armor which has this new mace piece of which is in two separate parts and they have been used just a couple of times in other colors obviously and as for the lower part of which which, which is comprised of this mostly this new blade piece but in or sword piece in black and green even though in other sets was in other colors obviously and for the other weapon of which which is where his meteor launcher is held at but in this case of which it's on the removable well, uh, pet of his called the arachnix drone which is kind of its own separate thing as well and of course top part of which same as what thorn racks of this wave also had but also forgot to mention is has <coughs> five connection points to attach these savage planet uh, pieces onto it and i do think and also this switch is what probably got the inspiration for the skull spiders in uh, 2015 bonnacle of course and also with the and also got trans green brachii pieces going on there although unlike in the short episode of which they were most had red onto them although i think red also would have been nice or red mixed with silver also would have been great obviously but yeah and also the launcher which that does fire off like so and you can stick it on to obviously and if you look onto the back you see these like those limb piece other pieces held on there to hold him up steady just like what fire lord and uh, rocket xl both had and also going up to other beams holding these tubes at which holding these extra arms on for whatever reason not sure what they're for but of course as you can see going off into like these blade pieces from the villains other sets from the year prior and with gears on the back to hold the tubes into and trans yellow armor pieces like we've seen on toxic repa as well and yeah and as for his head and armor piece or helmet piece as the head of which same as rockas and split faces all both had in first time in the trans green obviously and as for the helmet of which the quite nice interesting molding to it but unlike with most helmet sets where the uh, connection bit is a separate technic rod in it right there of course not sure why but whatever oh, which kind of similar to that of like the mask of life and uh voltraz and toa ignica or yeah maxilos's masks and bonacle all had but also do have the two quasi uh, spike pieces but just acting as extra horns to that but even though uh, speedy demon and voltixes also had the same piece but in either silver and lime green but of course had different things added on to it and yeah and so now on to the, the final verdict So overall, these I think are they I think are some quite cool sets of 2012 and all, like a few good recolors and a few 
good new pieces to them, obviously. And although Black Phantom may be a little copy build of like uh, both Rocket XL and uh, Fire Lord, but he which has a few slight modifications to it, probably for a lower price point or something or whatever, or that. And also first to use the like friction joint pieces to it. Although he which is kind of lar quite large for twenty dollars, even though in other waves of which it would be quite small for twenty dollars, small stuff for twenty dollars. But at least he's a good except quite good for the twenty dollar range that he was. Rock of which a quite good deal for the thirteen fourteen dollar price that he was. But yeah. And also some good recolors to him as well. And also some good uses of pieces as well. And also showing that even a hero like this larger witch can also well kick the villains like him, obviously. But yeah. And so now if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who have it and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up eBay for clink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.